the southern tip of Manhattan, especially its harbor, was key to the creation of New York City. The free-flowing waters of the port of New York served as the spark that ignited the development of the modern city. We know today. One of the first architectural side effects of the port came in 1899 when an increased volume of trade required the construction of a bigger customs house, now the National Museum of the American Indian. This Beaux Arts building was designed with decorative classical architectural details and elaborate sculptures that rivaled classical buildings in Europe. It symbolized the wealth, power, and international status of the United States as it grew as one of the top mercantile and political powers in the world. Commerce proliferated in what was now the premier port of the United States. And with it, Lower Manhattan grew from old counting houses to taller buildings. Broadway, initially a path used by Native Americans and later by Dutch traders to connect New Amsterdam with Albany, was widened from a street wide enough for wagons and stagecoaches to a fashionable residential street for the wealthy, similar to the Roman insula 2,000 years ago. The rich inhabited the desirable narrow levels. At the same time, the poorer lived on the upper floors, a concept we now inverted thanks to the elevator's invention, and with it, the introduction of the penthouse. But as commerce invaded Broadway, it pushed the city's affluent mercantile population northward, leaving this famous avenue as the city's primary business thoroughfare. This scene repeated itself for the next century, expanding and redeveloping the city one neighborhood at a time. For those who couldn't afford to move north, the recently built Brooklyn Bridge now gave access to the less developed borough of Brooklyn after its completion in 1883. The Brooklyn Bridge became the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. It was also an architectural and engineering marvel that added to the magnificent scale the city was aiming for. And just three years later, a gift from France would pop up down on Liberty Island to become another New York icon, the Statue of Liberty.